I'll turn it off now and then say, ah, uh, wait, I don't need to take trees.
it's a lot cheaper and easier to either build new awards, as you can see, or to position them further downstream. Now, that is the Port of Melbourne's intention anyway, is to uh, remove, remove the commercial shipping from this. Was a notorious drink driver. She drove into a dam once, blind drunk down in his passengers. What do we do? We need a roadway out the plane. Well, it's the British and Australia, it's not the sort of it's not the sort of British, I'll say. Have your right shoulder there, sent to Victoria Harbour. Home of what's formerly known as the Telstra Dome, now he has taken, not a very popular name change, I'm going to show you. Great art going up here, kind of slow us down a bit. But uh, very recently, Victoria Harbour used to be called Victoria Dock. Now I'm having an awful amount of trouble selling real estate there until uh, Australia's been in the grip of a pretty savage drought for the last while. We're not, uh, it's the last decade, so I've not produced enough grain for our own something. I've only even seen five ships going around that terminal in the last uh, three years I've worked here. I can't even pronounce the name of the ship coming off near the wall from home. I want to still wish you well from your herd. She's what's called an island hopper. She's got her own deck cranes, you can see. She's quite capable of loading or unloading her own cargo. Quite a set up here at the moment. But we don't want to get tangled up with these guys in their work, I can tell you. These guys have got more horsepower in their...
up to. She's 174 years old now, just turned out a couple of weeks ago. Massive celebration next year, 175, I'm sure. But this is an artist's impression of the tall six bouts, which they made their way up here. Now, I can just about categorically tell you that that artist has never been on a boat in his life. I don't know what the one second from him is, just sort of panned across the dog with hair and shit, and probably broke pole up it, but I don't think, uh, is it a dingo? Is that what it is? I don't know what it is, I don't know what a dingo, I don't know what a possum one, I don't know. What's this here? It's called Banana Alley, so called because the walls of the vaults, they're about three feet thick. Now that place maintains a pretty constant temperature year round of about, uh, well, about 22 degrees, it's quite uncomfortable without air conditioning, I can tell you, that my office is smack bang in the middle. It was an ideal place originally for the early settlers to bring their fresh produce so that it could naturally ripen before they sent it off to the markets. The line, where there was a metre of water over the handrailing of this bridge. If you see photographs of people rowing clean over the top of it, it was a massive amount of water that came through Melbourne. If you photo of a guy tied up the northern white post waving at the camera from a three metre dinghy. As a city, you see photos of people rowing over this in the state library, just massive. Picture photos of people rowing down Swanson Street, my particular favourite is a photo of a couple of guys who are rowing on the front steps of Flinders Street Station. Now, I'm funky when I was trained, they thought they were going to get 13 and a half litres of water. Go bigger. Well, it's just about that, folks. Get your cruise on behalf of. Uh